For those who don't know, I'm in search of a perfect mix that should look like a rainbow. I will go through huge amount of DJs to see if they got what it takes. If not, I'll make sure they will improve in the future and prove me wrong. Hi everyone, it's Bassa, and today we're going to review four DJs instead of three. Only because the second duo is a couple. So let's find out who it is. We start off with Vitaly Melenko in a snowy melodic house. Next is Fairies EDM with electropunk breaks and more. And the last one is James Weiler with Minimal Tech House. All right, let's dig in into Vitaly Malenko and find out what he's about. I call this set Sloppy Slope. As you can see by the graph, you can tell that it's uh, it's a sloppy slope. <laughs> Uh, it's like a downward kill, uh, meaning it goes from high energy to the very bottom of it. Although last track was kind of pushy. I don't know why, but should have, uh, you know, keep it at the same level, not going high up at the end. Uh, what I dislike was uh, he was a little bit shy and gentle with his mixes. So I assume he has a lack of confidence. And if you're a DJ, you gotta have some confidence. Also, the whole set had the low energy. Although track choices were quite nice, they were melodic, interesting, a part of one, which was on 30 second minute. That was absolutely unrelated track throughout the whole set. I would remove it and play it without that track. He had wrong timing here and there in transitions. So mainly the energy was falling here and there. Nothing wrong with it. If he would play like, uh, I don't know, at 6 a.m. in the morning, that's okay. Yeah, like uh, after party DJ, why not? No one wouldn't mind. It's, it's a beautiful journey. But anyway, here's what caught my attention throughout the whole set. Let's check it out. All right, so here in the transition, he was off key. And here we have a root swap, and Melodic House should be quite gentle. And there is the unrelated track to the whole set. And we finish off with the beat match. As you can tell, it wasn't as bad, but that unrelated track kind of triggered me because uh, the journey was nice. Uh, it's just that one rotten apple in the barrel. Let's dig in into scores. So I'll give him for track choices a solid seven. Performance in journey, seven. And for mixing, five. You should work on that. So in total, Vitaly got 6.3. Couple of advices here. If you like the track so much, then keep it for the next set. Don't bring it into something that is unrelated. You can just spoil the whole vibe. Work on upward mobility and find a better engaging spots upon mix to make it nice. To make it nice incline. Next stop is Fairies EDM. I call their set Chaos in a Dress. Well, if you have a listen, Chaos, because every track is a random genre, like it has no pattern, it's just absolute, you know, zigzagging through uh, the whole set. As you can see by the graph, it does look like a zigzag, constantly up and down, up and down. The energy is like one huge low of vibration. I've noticed they're having fun. It's their, I'm not sure if it's first or one of the radio uh, shows that they performed. But if you dance more than you DJ, then you're more likely a listener, not a DJ. Another moment is that they use effects a lot, but I recommend to use effects less, especially if your whole set is uh, so random itself. Because they squeezed in one hour up to 30 tracks or something. Oh, that's huge. 
So every minute, literally, there's changing to a, to a different mood. So effects not needed whatsoever. They have no sense of set building whatsoever. Although they have a good mixing skills. Let's see if I found any weird moments that they had through their journey. I'm not sure what happened here, but at the very beginning, they cut the scene. Huh? What? Beat match? Ah, who cares? Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Ooh, and here he just killed it with double tap. And just few of these moments are within eight minutes only. I'm not even talking about the whole hour. Like, like I said before, the whole hour, they're just zigzagging through. I can show you the graph again. Uh, it, it is a crazy piece to listen to. If you really like randomness, uh, go get it. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, they are in their own bubble. But I'm telling you straight away, it's not for everyone. It, it, it really might hurt your ears. Uh, I advise them to maybe stick to one genre on maybe two max to make a nice flow. And uh, with that, maybe you can create a better journey. And fairies, if you really want more views, uh, let me just remind you that less is more. So do don't go crazy unless you just want to go crazy and it's not even about views so it really depends what you're after but anyway for track choices i'll give them four yes that painful performance and journey four for mixing i'll give them eight so in total it's 5.3 fairies swap the dresses and give me some more and finally james weiler i call this mix just minimal tech yeah, just minimal tech because not many changes are happening in minimal tech house. Therefore, it's minimal. Not many changes are happening throughout the set. I do like that James delivered quite a few surprises. It was interesting journey at some point. And I'll give him a huge plus for good mixing skills. Bravo. He performed in New York in some club, but I would say he's an average DJ. It's like, did he deliver the product? Yes. Can he mix? Sure. Am I coming back to his set? I don't think so. Because any other minimal DJ would uh, deliver the same product. It's like going to the store and buying milk. Do I care what milk should I take? Is it this one or that one? They're both milk, right? It's, it's not much of a difference. So there might be lack of uniqueness. You need to be... I don't even know surprise me do something special that you know you would got my attention i guess it's hard to do it in a minimal tech house but hey if you love the genre you love the genre there's nothing you can do okay so let me show you what i found throughout the set here he's tweaking the bass i guess it's his own way how to spice it up a bit Here he dove and mixed from high energy into low energy. Ooh, and here he delivered the beautiful mix. And here he dropped from huge bass into just a kick. Well, it's a good party. People liked it. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you're in a club over there, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but to listen, it can be quite boring because not many changes, like I said. So for track choices, I'll give him seven. There were quite a few melodic, nice ones. Performance, Journey, 7. 
And for mixing skills, 8. In total, James Weiler got 7.3. My advice would be work on upward mobility and find your minimal tech house gem. And as always, we're going to ask a question. Will I ever listen to these sets again? Vitaly Malenko? No. Fairies? Ooh, definitely no. And James Weiler? I'm sorry, that's a no as well. That's a triple no. Unfortunately. Other than that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. I really want to know what you got to say. Maybe you have some questions or moments that you don't understand. Let me know uh, so I can answer you promptly. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Without this cookie. Adios, amigos. Ciao.